Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you feel distant from your emotions, thoughts, surroundings, and memories? This is part of something called dissociation. Dissociation is a defense mechanism where you unconsciously push away conflicting or threatening emotions and compartmentalize feelings so that you don't have to deal with them. Within the umbrella of dissociative symptoms, there are two that help categorize the experience, detachment dissociation and compartmentalization dissociation. Detachment dissociation refers to feeling like you have been taken out of your body. Compartmentalization dissociation refers to when your mind pushes aside distressing moments or experiences. This usually results in memory loss. With that said, here are five signs you may be experiencing dissociation. Number one, memory loss. Memory loss is a common symptom of dissociation. You may find yourself at work or school, but unable to remember how you got there. Memory loss is one of the quickest symptoms to identify because it's obvious. The main reason memory loss goes hand in hand with dissociation is because your brain cannot handle whatever is going on. So it switches to autopilot. Dissociation pulls you outside of your body. Hence, it's difficult for you to remember what happens around you if you're not there. But these moments of dissociation don't always occur when we are frightened or distressed. They could sometimes happen while you're doing something. Number two. Derealization. Derealization is another symptom of dissociation. It sometimes feels like a dream where things are colorless, dull, or blurry. Derealization is distressing and can cause anxiety, but it's common for those with anxiety, depression, and other mental illnesses. However, derealization differs from other psychotic disorder symptoms in the sense that there is a degree of awareness. You are aware of reality and the feeling that distances you from it. Number three, Feeling lightheaded. There are many reasons why you may feel lightheaded, but in the context of mental health, dissociation can be a cause. When lightheadedness is paired with another one of the symptoms mentioned above, then the cause is most likely dissociation. The vestibular system is a sensory system responsible for spatial awareness and sense of balance. However, when you dissociate, you are not aware of your surroundings. When you come to, the sudden realization of your surroundings serves almost as vestibular stimulation and makes you lightheaded. Number four, not feeling pain. Another sign of dissociation is not feeling pain. There is research suggesting that dissociation not only minimizes painful memories, but also the physical pain attached to them. However, the connection between dissociation and pain is not solely related to trauma. People who experience chronic pain can also experience dissociation. For some who experience dissociation as a result of a mental health condition, the feeling of not feeling in your body can sometimes lead you to self-injure. Although it makes sense to do something to bring you back into your body, self-injury is not the best option. And number five, a loss of self-identity. Another aspect of dissociation is depersonalization. It's similar to derealization in the sense that you feel like you are watching yourself. However, depersonalization makes you feel distant from your mental process. You feel that you're an observer of your own life. Depersonalization can occur with other symptoms on this list. It can be a very scary feeling, like you don't have any control over your body. Some clinicians believe that extreme stress or trauma can produce depersonalization. So do you relate to any of these signs? Dissociation can be frightening and in some cases intrusive. It's not like a physical illness where diagnosis and treatment are administered via exams, but there is treatment among them being psychotherapy, medication, family therapy, and clinical hypnosis. If you experience any of these symptoms, please reach out to a medical health professional for treatment. Please like and share this with friends that might find some good advice in the video as well. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.